So when a program runs, when a program runs into a runtime error, the program terminates abnormally. And how can you handle the runtime error so that the program can continue to run or terminate gracefully? This is the subject of this chapter. OK, how to handle these errors, how to handle this runtime, how to uh, prevent this abnormally stop of your uh, of your uh, program. So we will start in the first by talking about the input and output streams, how this OK, data will be read, will be written. OK, reading text input, writing text input uh, onto a file, reading from web. OK, we have many types of reading and many types of writing also, by the way. And we will talk after that about exceptions and how to handle these exceptions. So in this meeting, we aim to study two things, the, the inputs and outputs and the error handling when there is some error. OK, so there are two ways for input output. What are these two ways? You can communicate with a sequential source or destination, such as a file, a keyboard, another computer, it will send, OK? You can write. And you can use also a graphical user interface. We will study that later, OK? And the Kshesha, this information needs to be sought, OK, by the computer. And we will, uh, after that, talk about the error handling. So how show, uh, we will show how to deal with error conditions in Java by means of exceptions. So let's start by these input output streams, OK? The Java relies on the concept of a stream for providing an input output facilities. This is the stream, OK? The Yilqanet, OK? And you will have a stream of data if it is read read okay maqru'a or maktuba okay so a stream is essentially a sequence of bytes representing a flow the data from a source to a destination okay now here the source is the keyboard it can be the keyboard it can be another file it can be from url okay into the your java program it is reading okay from your java program to a file you can write on a file you can print on the screen okay this is the writing okay this is the printing so, so the sources and destinations can include a keyboard screen uh, any sort of data files text file uh, word file etc and between networked computer okay it can be from one computer to another but they are connected any read or write is performed in three simple steps. أي كتابة أو أي قراءة من أي مكان فيها three steps. The first step is to open the stream. You need to open this stream. Okay, stream هذا القناة يتم من شيء. Okay, it will be created. It will be started. Okay, so you need to define some objects here. زي لما سوينا في السكانر. ليش سوينا سكانر؟ عشان نقرا فهذيك هو احنا سوينا في السكانر سوينا قناه ستريم اوكي سو وي وي ميك ذيس ستريم ريدي اند وي يوز ذيس سكانر تو ريد فروم ذا كونسول اور تو ريد فروم ذا كيبورد اوكي ستيب 2 از تو كيب ريدينج فروم اور رايتينج تو ا فايل از لونج از ذي ار يو نيد اوكي تو يوز ذيس ميثود It can be read next end, next char, next double, whatever. Okay, if it is reading, or it can be reading from a file, it can be writing to a file, it can be print to a console, etc. And after that, once you finish, so you need to close the stream. Okay, we are going to open and close, but we are not going to write in the scanner. We are going to use the scanner, but we are not going to open and close the stream. Okay. So all the streams provided in Java can be found in the Java 
input output package and any user and any program sorry that uses this streams new t in to need, need to include this statement okay import java input output all these uh, methods and uh, classes that will be used and let there be a scanner class so for scanner taban you need to import for the scanner Java utilities, okay? Java utilities dot scanner. Or you can use, you can uh, include all the library by this star, okay? Active dot scanner or dot star. وراح يجيب كل الكلاسات اللي جوات utilities بما فيها scanner, okay? Step one is to define a scanner. قبل لا نقرأ من أي مكان من أي مكان سواء file سواء من keyboard سواء whatever, okay? So you need to define the scanner. And in this way, I will read from the keyboard system. And it is the keyboard, okay? So the, use the scanner here, define a scanner object, or SC or input or whatever the name that you need. To take input from the keyboard, you need to use system.n, okay? If you need to get the information from a file, it will be different. This is a reading from a file. Okay? You can read from a file. If you have a file, you can read from a file. Okay? So you can, you can do it. So here, scanner. We, we open the scanner. Okay? We use the method next line. So I will, I will enter more than one word. في عندي أكتب أكثر من word it is a line إذا word واحدة it is next okay next once and print here for example it is a print for your الكلمات اللي راح تكتبها من الكيبورد راح يطبعها okay and after that once you finish you need to close the scanner okay this is the three steps اللي قلنا عليها Okay, please. Now you can read also text from a file using the scanner class. Now you can read from a file also. Okay, so again, you need to import this utility for scanner. You need to import this input output for the close. Okay, all the steps that close the streaming. Now, because there are a file to open, so this is why we need to use the try. Till now, خليكم من try catch. This is the exception handling. هنشوفها بعدين. بس ليش إحنا استخدمناها هنا؟ عشان في open of file. If this file does not exist, if this file does cannot be opened for any reason, there is no access for this file. So there will be an error. And this program will stop abnormally. Okay, this is why we handle these errors of type of errors. Once you need to open something to get information from another place, you need to use this ex exception. Okay, but just we will see when we can use this exception later. Okay, just now we will focus on how to read and how to write from a file from to a file from a keyboard to a file, etc. Okay. Again, here, because I have a file, so I need to create a file object that points to your text file. If I read from file, I take the file that I have, the path. This is the path. And when the file, okay, I will create a pointer, okay, a reference, a reference variable. It is here, a pointer, okay, to your text file, and I will use the scanner that will point it not on the keyboard, but on the on this file, okay? And after that, it is the same. I will use next line, I can use next, next double, next, على حسب طريقة next اللي أنا أبغاه, okay? أبغى أقرأ كلمات, أبغى أقرأ سطور, أبغى أقرأ بس الأرقام, أبغى whatever, okay? Now, once I finish, I need to close. The scanner, it is the scanner. لا. 
This is a pointer. Okay, it is not a stream. احنا نفتح ونقفل stream of data. Okay, اللي راح تمشي عليه ال data. Okay, but for the file, it is just an object that will point on this on this file. Okay. So the common scanner methods now. Okay, is it clear? This is the three steps اللي حكينا عليها. Here, open the stream. اللي هو هنا سوينا عن طريق scanner. Keep reading. Next line, next character, next uh, double, int, etc. Okay, next. And close the stream once you finish reading. Okay. Now, what, what, what are the different common scanner methods we can use next? If you need to read token or word, you can use the next line. If you, uh, it will return an entire input line as a string. Okay, you can return an integer, you can return a double, you can return a long, a short, all of these different methods. Okay, now also you can have some test methods. Test methods, it will re it, it, it is used for error checking and loops. إذا أنا بعطيه بيقرأ من ملف كيف حارف إني أنا وصلت لنهاية الملف إذا عندي ملف زي ما شفنا قبل شوية خليناه يقرأ من الملف سوينا ال F5 اللي هو F1 وخليناه بوينتي على 6.6 دوت اسم الفايل مثلا تيست دوت تي اكس تي تي اكس تي اوكي وهنا في عندي 1 2 words Etc. Okay, I need to read from this. How can I know that I reach the last line, for example, the last word, the last item? I need to check. Okay, so this is the method that you can use to test, to check. Okay, for this looping. It is, I need to check if the scanner has next. هل في كلمة بعدها أقدر أقرأها ولا لا؟ عشان اعرف انا خلصت الملف ولا ما خلصته اوكي okay. so it will return true if another token is available to be read اوكي okay. has next line اذا كان في اسطر في الملف اشوف هل في سطر بعد السطر اللي انا فيه عشان اقراه ولا ما في ولا stop اوكي okay. so it will return true if another line is available to be read has next int اذا انا جلست اقرا بس في الارقام عندي ملف فيه له students فيه له ال ID student ID فيه له name فيه له uh, gender etc. Okay. كيف أعرف إنه أنا خلصت كل students؟ حمشي على كل ال ID for example. Okay. Once أنا وصلت لآخر ID خلاص ما في يعني بعده. ف I need to check using the next int for example if the ID is an integer. Okay. Next has next double also if it is a double if it is a prices. ملف جوا تو مشتريات و prices و etc. Okay, I need to read all these prices. So I need to check one by one. I need to check if there is another double to read to be read or not. Okay. So this is the called the test method. Okay, clear. You need to practice in order to see the importance of this uh, testing. So writing the text now. So this is about reading. Now we need to write okay if you need to write using a print writer like you can use the scanner to read you need to use the print writer class to print to write okay the scanner a scanner i need to read now if i need to write abra khazen al bayanat a student في ملف مو تجلس لي زي كذا على السكرين فكل ما دخل value I need to store this value in the in the file and after that I will have a file full of grades and names student ID etc okay so I need in the first to create a file object that points to your object now الفايل ما راح أقرأ منه لا الفايل راح أسوي عليه pointer عشان أكتب عليه okay the difference 
because here now I will define a print writer. Print writer, it is not a scanner. It is a print writer, and this, this object will point on this file. OK? Instead of reading, now it is writing, OK? Putting information in this file. Also, for example, I print on Joy M251 module. Good luck. Uh, enjoy your MTA, whatever. OK, all of these phrases of this string will be written on the on your file. OK. And once I finish writing, I need to close this PR, this print reader or this scanner for reading. OK, again here because you need to open a file and to, to write on this file. So there is some, can be some error about this file. If it is not found, if you don't have access to this file, if it is not allowable, uh, allowed to you to write, etc. Okay, so for any cases, okay, you have this try catch in order to avoid error. Okay, in this type, if there is any problem here, just it will print E. Once you see E, you understand that there is a problem, okay? But the program will continue functioning, will continue run, okay? Running. error, stop. okay? So this is uh, here, any data in this text file will be erased before writing the new data using the println method. So be sure all the data that you have in this txt will be erased. If you write something on it, all the data will be erased and will be written the data. Okay, so be sure it is a new uh, document or not, if you need to update or not, etc. Now like, uh, let's practice. Write a Java code to write the following lines into a new text. Uh, it is called luck txt. Okay, you need to create this luck txt and you need to write study well for your final exam. It will be an easy exam. Just study well and concentrate during the exam and good luck. So, how can I write this code? I need to use a print writer. Okay, if we are print writer, I need to print all these sentences or lines, and after that, close the PR. Just and handling with errors because I need to write on a file. So I don't know if this file exists or not, etc. Okay, now try another, uh, write another Java code to print the contents of this text file. Now, once you have this print and uh, this file, I need to print the content on the screen. So it is using the scanner now, OK? And you are asked also to print the number of lines in the file. How you can know the number of files, uh, of the number of lines? I need to use a looping. Yeah, it is a loop. And what is your text will be? Scanner dot has next line. We showed them. methods for testing. Okay, here has next line. Okay, so I need to use has next line or has next. Okay, if I want to see the last line after that, if I want to count the number of words, if I want to count the number of lines, if I want to count the number of integers, all of these are possible to count by this testing method. Okay, looping because it is looping. Now this is the first. I need to. Create a file, okay, from this file name. I will use a try catch because there is an opening and, uh, and writing on a such file. Now, how can I write? Just I will create, I will open the stream. How to open the stream? It is using a print writer object, okay? After that, I will use this print writer object to write on this file, and I will close the writer once I finish, okay? 
Now, how can I print? Now I need to read. Another time I will create a scanner. Read from. I will point on this file. Now for this, I will uh, have an int counter because I need to count the number of lines. OK, now while. Of four, OK, all of them are correct. While read from has mixed line. It means that I have something to read. OK, so the read. From need be you need to read the next line. OK, it is a string. You need to count and you need to print this line. OK, this is what is required. It's going to come to the whole sector. OK, so this is how to count the number of lines. And this is why how to print each line. So once you finish, just you need to close the string. And you print, you need to print the count counter this, that will count the number of lines. Yes, you can. You can. OK. Reading, writing objects now to make an object persistent. The state of an object should be stored in a file. So you could write states of objects in a file, or you could use this data in stored file to create a new objects also. OK. For example, either can end the Milaf fellow students who agreed to whatever. OK, I need to create objects from this file and in Bayonet, but effectively an objects may be there. OK, so I can create. I can read one by one and assign this name to the name object, this age to the age of this student, these courses, etc. OK, so you need to access each attribute for reading or writing using the example your object name dot get or dot set OK, and in order to print a content of an array list, for example, of circle, rectangles, etc. So you need to use uh, for each and access each attribute using the getter method. So look at this example, create a new class. It is called deal rectangle and the rectangle here, one the geometric, one the circle. I need to create a deal rectangles that have the following methods. Write a static method to fill rectangles. Fill. So it will take a list of objects as an argument and fill it with rectangle objects. OK. So we are on the list, or a list, yani list of objects. rectangles. Write a static Java method. Write to file to write a, a list of rectangles into a text file. It is called rectangle.txt. OK, but the data is in the array list. I have to be able to find a file. I have to be able to find OK. I need only now to convert read from this file to read the content of these rectangles and return contents as a list. هذه اللي قلنا العكس. عندي بيانات في ملف. أبغى أحول هذه البيانات إلى objects. Okay. Now I read or uh, write also a static Java method that print the area which takes the list returned from this read from file and to print the area for each rectangle and at the end create a list of rectangles in the main method. That invoke this fill method, uh, this, this fill rectangles, write to a file, and read from file. Note now that you have a constructor, okay, that take three arguments, width, height, and color. If you remember, can end in a color, a shape, a geometric shape, and the color filled or not filled. We can end in a weight, well, height, a rectangle, okay? So let's. Is it clear now? Questions, is, is it clear? You need to 
create a dill rectangle. Okay, this is the name of your class. And after that, you have many methods, and you can use this constructor in order to construct these methods to this uh, object. Okay, so this is the dill rectangle. Yeah, yeah, an array list. Okay, and this is to create. Create or it, it is meant here by fill, fill rectangles. Okay, fill rectangle. So you will give an array and you, you will ask this method to fill this array by rectangles. Okay, so rectangle one will be new rectangle. New rectangle, new rectangle, and after that you will add rectangle one, rectangle two, rectangle three to the list. Okay, هذه مش create هذه نفس الاسم اللي هنا. Fill rectangles. Okay, fill rectangles. واضح? It will take a list of objects as an argument and fill it with rectangle objects. أخذنا ال arguments اللي هي list. هذه array list of data type rectangle. You will create a new objects and you will add these objects to the to this list. Okay. After that, write two files. Okay, how to write? How to write? Print print writer. Okay, PR, the print writer, they must have the scanner. Okay, to read, to write, the print writer. So we will point the gable, we will point the pointer on this file, which is called rectangles.txt. We will open the stream, create the PR that will point on this file. And for rectangles, now you can use the for each, for each like this, you can use the for. You can use any 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 uh, testing any testing uh, structure, okay? Why, okay? So for rectangle in this list, pr dot println al width, wal height, wal color, okay? طوله وعرض ال ال المستطيل ولون المستطيل. واضح? So just so this is why I need the, to get, I need to get, to make access using this getter. And after that, I will close. Now I will handle with any error because I need to uh, open, okay, uh, and write on a file, okay. Now, if you need now to, lax the heat, the heat and the milaf, وابغى حول هذا الملف إلى لي. So I need to read now. I need to read from this file. So I will use the scanner. Okay. Again, I will point on this file. The file the heen. Ma haktab aliha haqra minnaha. Fila ha bayinat. Okay. Fila ha tool wal ard wal loon. Sah wal la. Nafs al tool wal ard wal loon. Ha khudhum the heen. Aqra hum. Wa khali hum fi objects. Okay. Fi list. Now I will have. Three character, three variables. اللي هما a double, a width, a height, a string, a color. اللي راح أقرأهم الحين. Okay, data اللي راح أقرأها من الملف. Okay. And I need a scanner to read. Now, while s dot has next, why we use has next? Next هو إيش؟ هو one word. والملف اللي عندي أنا هو عبارة عن إيش؟ نتذكر وإحنا إيش كتبنا فيه الملف؟ height, weight, and color اللي هي string. فعندي كل مرة عدد عدد وبعدين عدد وبعدين كلمة اللي هي color. أوكي؟ this is why إذا بعد الكلمة هذه ما في شيء خلاص يعني خلصنا الملف. أوكي؟ this is why we use here s dot has next. Okay, if the map is has next, يعني it's finished. So why it has next? There is. I will read the next double. We store it in the width. I will read the next double. لأنه عندنا قلنا double. 
دبل وبعدين كالر دبل دبل بعدين كالر اتسترا اوكي سو اي ويل ريد ذا فيرست دبل ذا سكند دبل اند ذا كالر اي ويل كرييت نيو ريكتانجل يوزنج ذيس ثري فاريبلز اند اد ذيس اوبجكت تو ماي ليست اوكي just you need to put it correctly خلاص اذا خلصنا طبعا اذا وصلنا s dot has next there is nothing it is false ما في has next لي الكالر اللي الاخير اوكي so it will finish and the stream will be closed okay so this is it will and here you you will return the list اللي هو هنا كتبناه array list of rectangle okay الاوتبوت ريتر واضح جاست يو نيد تو براكتس ات از ات از فيري ايزي بس جاست يو نيد تو براكتس باي يور سيلف سو هير يو كان يوز يو نيد تو يوز الهاز نيكست وين يو وونت تو ريد اتش اليمنت ان ذا لاين اند ستور ات ان ا ديفرنت فاريبل اند يو كان يوز هاز نيكست لاين وين يو نيد تو ريد ذا هول لاين از ا سترينج ففي فرق في عندكم اذا تبغى تقرا كل شيء في السطر فاستخدم has next اذا تبغى تقرا السطر ككل وما تفصل اللي جواته ممكن تستخدم has next line اوكي ايوه has next يعني token by token جزء جزء اوكي يعني مثلا بين الكلمه والكلمه في فراغ خلاص الفراغ هذاك ما يحسبه يروح على اللي بعده tokens okay words like a word like جزء okay but ال has line line كامله بما فيها بالنسبه لي هو راح يشوفها قطعه واحده okay شيء واحد so this is here in this case we can use this has next okay will work now if i print i need to print the area So just I need to use for each for each rectangle, print x dot get area just. And the list I'll use the for each. If I need now to to test all these methods, I will go to the main. I will create list and list one. A list that I'll use to create is I'll create the here to make a fill rectangle. Okay. After that, I will use to write. This list into a file. List one. I will create another list from this file. It is called list one, and I will print the area for this list one. This is what it is required here in the last question. Create a list of rectangles in the main. Invoke fill rectangles that you create. Write to file and read from file. Okay, and the list. And the first thing, and the list. From the list, I will create a list of rectangles. الداتا هذه اللي فيها الريكتانجلز هكتبها في في فايل الفايل بعدين هذا هستخرج منه البيانات واكون منه ليست ثاني اوكي جاست يعني هذا هي التمرين كله اوكي سو ناو اوكي خلينا نوقف هنا عشان وي ويل ستوب هير ان ذيس اكسبشنز اوكي وي ويل تيك 10 مينتس از ا بريك اند افتر ذات وي ويل ستارت ذا ريفيجن for your MTA, okay? We will see the mock exams. Okay, guys, do you have any question, guys? Wadah lil online.